Hi everyone, this is the assignment number one. I know it is pretty late for the assignment number one, but whosoever solves this assignment, I have something special for him, okay? So I will tell you the step, what all steps you need to follow and how should you do the assignment and what should you do so that you get that special present from my side, okay? So first of all, uh, from the next time, we will be following this sequence that first we will learn the concept. I will create the lectures. You will uh, watch those lectures, try to submit the problem yourself. After that, I will give you assignment. Okay, you will solve the assignment. After that, we will conduct the contest. And after the contest, we will conduct the doubt session. Okay, so this will be the sequence for the future videos. All right. But right now, this is the assignment number one. It is pretty late for the assignment. Still try to solve this. Okay. I have something special for whosoever solved this assignment. Now let me tell you the step how you can solve this. So basically I have six problems over here. Few of the problems could be simply solved using recursion. The techniques and tips that we have already learned from the lecture number one to the lecture number 10. Okay. If you are aware of these 10 lectures, you will be able to solve those questions very easily. Now few questions here are from dynamic programming and you will be able to write the recursive code for those problems. I don't expect you to get them accepted because those problems are from dynamic programming. Although we can convert the same very recursion code that you will be writing into DP code by just changing few lines. But I don't expect that from you as of now. We will be covering dynamic programming after some time. Then we will basically learn that what are those three lines which we need to change to convert our recursion code to DP code. But this is just to make your uh, sorry, this is just to make your recursion concepts strong. Okay. So everything will be same. You have to follow the same steps. You have to think in terms of recursion similarly and you will be able to solve those questions. You will just get a TLE for few of the questions. Okay. And don't worry if you're getting a TLE. Just write down in the comment section how many questions you got all accepted and how many questions you got a TLE. Okay. Based upon that, I will be distributing that special gift from my side. Okay. Now you can read in front of every question it is mentioned can be further optimized using DP, DP if, it, if the TLE occurs. So it is mentioned in front of every question which could be solved only using DP but at least write the recursion code for that and get a TLE. Alright, next uh, there are a few questions which we will be able to solve very easily using recursion which we have already learned. So uh, return subset of some K. Here we have to return those subsets whose summation is equal to K and we have already seen this kind of problem in the past as well. Okay, so just solve this one. Then there is subsequence of a string. So you have to generate all the subsequence of a string. Now, what is a subsequence? First of all, let me explain what is a subsequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the array. Now, if I want to generate the subsequences, so what I can do is I can simply delete few of the characters from anywhere. Okay, rest of the characters will be a subsequence. For example, let's say I'm deleting 3. So what will be left? 1, 2, 4 comma 5 right so this is a possible subsequence you can read the definition here a subsequence of a string is the one in which which is generated by deleting zero or uh, more letters from the string and keeping the rest of the letters in the same order so i should not disturb the order i should not disturb the order between 1 2 4 and 5 okay they that should remain same that's why it is called a sub sequence sequence should remain same okay so it is a subsequence now one more example could be uh, let's say if I'm deleting one so uh, two comma three comma four comma five is one of the example let's say again I'm deleting one and three so two comma four comma five is again a subsequence so all these are subsequence now how are these subsequence different from the subsets which we have already seen in the past okay so although we generated the subsets in a sequence only and those subsets were the subsequence as well those subsets were subsequence as well because we generated them in a sequence. We did not disturb the uh, ordering between those numbers, right? So they were actually the subsequence only. Okay, that's for sure. But in technical terms, I can say 4, 5, uh, 3, 2, 4. This could be a subset, but this is not a subsequence. It is not a subsequence. Okay, it is not a subsequence because the sequence between characters are changed. 2 should appear before 3. Okay, this is not a subsequence. It is a subset. But the way we generated subset earlier were same as generating subsequence. Okay. Because those subsets are ordered. All right. Now, a subsequence could be called a subset. A subsequence could be called a subset. But a subset not always is a subsequence. Only those subset which are sequential, which maintain the order between the characters are subsequence. Okay. So just keep this in mind. 
uh, because it might disturb you it might basically confuse you in future as well if you don't recall these things if you don't collect these things now okay so yes this is it you will be able to solve this problem as well so all the best for the assignment number one just make sure that you try at least give an attempt to all of these problems one by one and hopefully you will be able to solve them all right so make sure that you write down in the comment section as well so uh, to whatever question you were able to get all accepted to whatever question you were able to get a TLE just write down in the comment section we will meet in the next lecture and now we will be starting with some medium to hard level questions and just be motivated those questions are actually very important those questions are actually frequently asked so I need to cover them all okay let us meet in the next lecture bye bye take care